Hello everyone, welcome to JB EduGuide. Today we will understand a new topic about locating places on the earth. Open your textbooks, notebooks, and let's start. Before, starting of the chapter. Dot first understand the heading. Locating places on the earth. It means how different places on the earth can be located. You might reply. Sir, we will use Google Map. Sounds good, but Google also uses Map. So, today we will understand about Map and its types. Components of Map. Mapping the Earth. Latitude. Longitude. And about Time Zones. Let's understand. What is Map? A map is a visual representation of an area, showing the locations of different features such as mountains, rivers, cities, and roads. Just like this. Next. Let's understand the types of map. Maps can be simple or complex, depending on the amount of detail they include. There are different types of maps, each serving a specific purpose. First, physical map, which shows natural features like mountains, oceans, rivers, and lakes. Like this. Second, political map, which shows boundaries of countries, states, and cities. For example, Last type of map given in your textbook is thematic map, which focus on specific types of information, such as population density or climate zones. You can see the example. Moving forward, let's understand about the components of map. I mean parts of map. Maps have several important components or parts that help us understand the information they provide. Like distance, direction, and symbols. Let's understand the first component of map. Distance. Maps use a scale to represent distances. The scale shows the relationship between the distances on the map and the actual distances on the ground. For example, a scale might show that 1 centimeter on the map equals 10 kilometers in reality. Next come to the second component of map. Direction. Most important part of the map is direction. Map uses two types of direction. First. Cardinal direction. Like east, west, north, south. You can see in every map. Second. Intermediate directions. Like northeast, southeast, southwest, northwest. Most maps have a north arrow to indicate the direction of north. Most important components or part of map is. Symbols. Maps use symbols to represent different features. For example, a small drawing of a tree might represent a forest, or a dotted line might represent a road. These symbols are explained in the map's legend or key. Hey there! If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to JB EduGuide, and click the bell icon for more simple and clear lessons. If you need simple and detailed notes on this topic, comment below and share with your friends. Let's come to our topic. Next we will discuss about Mapping the Earth. The Earth is a sphere, so representing it on a flat map can be challenging. A globe is a more accurate way to represent the Earth because it maintains the correct proportions and distances. But globe is not appropriate to keep all the time. So, maps are more convenient for many purposes. To accurately locate places on the Earth, we use a coordinate system based on latitude and longitude. So dear students, let's understand about latitude and longitude. Let's discuss about latitude. Students do you know what is latitude? Let's know. Imaginary line that runs east to west parallel to the equator are called latitudes. You can see the globe. Those white circles are latitudes. Now you should know about different important latitudes of the globe. First is equator. The equator is an imaginary line that circles the earth halfway between the north and south poles. It is at zero degrees latitude. Let's understand different parallels of latitude. These are imaginary lines that run parallel to the equator. They measure the distance north or south from the equator. For example, the Tropic of Cancer is at approximately 23.5 degrees north latitude. And the Tropic of Capricorn is at approximately 23.5 degrees south latitude. Similarly, the Arctic Circle is at approximately 66.5 degrees north latitude. And the Antarctic Circle 
is at approximately 66.5 degrees south latitude. You can see the diagram. Dear students, do you know? Latitude represents climate, whereas longitude represents time. So let's move to climate zones. The Earth is divided into different climate zones based on latitude. See the diagram. The area near the equator is generally hot and is called as the torrid zone. The areas between the tropics and polar circles are called temperate zones and have moderate climates. The areas near the poles both south and north pole are called frigid zones and are very cold. Let's understand about longitude. So what is longitude? Longitudes are lines that go from the North Pole to the South Pole. You can see the white lines running from North Pole to South Pole. Let's move to different important longitudes. First, the Prime Meridian. The Prime Meridian is an imaginary line that runs from the North Pole to the South Pole through Greenwich, England. It is at zero degrees longitude. Come to second. The International Date Line. IDL. Is the line opposite to the prime meridian is the boundary between one calendar day and the next. It passes through the Pacific Ocean, roughly following the 180 degrees line of longitude. Dear students, earlier we have discussed that the longitude represents time. So let's understand about time zone. Most important and interesting part of the chapter is time zones. To understand time zones, First understand the longitudes also known as meridians. There are 360 longitudes of imaginary lines. From 0 degrees longitudes to 180 degrees longitudes. And from 180 degrees longitudes to 0 degrees longitudes in a circular motion. East to west. So in total 360 longitudes. The distance between one longitudes to another is about 4 minutes. It means the distance between 15 meridians is 1 hour. Follows that. 360 meridians or longitudes means 24 hours. Dear students, as per that there are 24 time zones in total, consisting of 15 meridians each. Let's see an example. Why there is time difference between different country. For example there is 12 noon in England. Then what will be the time in? India. Let's understand. The longitude of England. 0 degrees meridians. And. The meridians of India is. 82.5 degrees east. Longitude. It means the Indian time is. 82.5 degrees meridians ahead of England. We know the distance between one longitude to another is. 4 minutes. So 82.5 degrees east meridians means 82.5 times 4 equals 330 minutes which means about 5.30 hours ahead of england five of the in england is 12 noon then the time in india would be 5:30 pm if you're enjoying this video don't forget to like and subscribe to jb edu guide and click the bell icon for more simple and clear lessons if you need simple and detailed notes on this topic comment below and share with your friends